my name is Audra Ricketts and this is a little intro for a series of videos I'm going to do on the Camino, on the Camino de Santiago, the big long pilgrimage across the north of Spain, which I did back in 2014. So I'm going to just walk you through, I did it in 31 days, so I'm going to just tell you why I went how I prepared and what it was like. If I can try to do it day by day, I will, but it's been a little while, but I will give you the highlights. And hopefully this will help you decide whether you wanna go, uh, give you a really clear idea on how fucking hard it is or how easy it is or all the different things I experienced firsthand along the way. So let's do this, the Camino. Why the fuck not? 800 kilometers, okay? Welcome to the Camino series. I had actually heard of the Camino from one other person that I worked with and she described it to me and that her and her grandmother had done it and, and she was just saying, well, it's like you walk this really long path. And I was like, who in the fuck would wanna do that? Years later, a girlfriend of mine was um, ill and very ill and at the end of her life about like two weeks before she passed away she was telling me i'm gonna do the camino she was just telling me she has a friend that's gonna be doing it and i'm gonna do it and she ordered hiking boots brands making new which you should never fucking do but she bought hiking boots and she was just talking and i mean this is a kind of person that believes in creating your own reality so i'm sure she was doing that Unfortunately, she passed away. This woman changed my life. She's such an incredible woman. And her name is Janice. And, but right before she passed away, she actually changed her name to Magic Sparkling Joy. <laughs> if, if that name doesn't give you an idea of what kind of person she was, I don't know what. But um, the day I found out she passed away, I had seen her the night before, but um, she had passed in the middle of the night and um, I was very upset, obviously. And my husband and I were driving around. I said, I wanna go to the library and take out some books on the Camino. Like maybe I should do it for Janice. So we go to the library and I pull out all these books or I got home and I opened the books and I go, what the fuck, it's 800 kilometers? Are you fucking nuts? Sorry for all the F-bombs. Okay, I'll tone it back. I was like, I did not sign up for that. And I kind of just put them aside. And then I think about two weeks later, we had her celebration of life. And it was a beautiful gathering. We all got to say what we loved about her. And um, we sprinkled sparkles in the ocean for her. And, and then when I got home, I knew, I knew if I don't book this trip right now, today it will never happen i just know myself and i went to my computer and i figured out how the hell you get there and i booked a fucking ticket <laughs> i'm sorry i don't know how to not swear and i had five weeks to prepare for this thing most people that i know they spend years of preparation they'll be like um, hiking with weights on their back because you carry everything with you the entire trip. Or, you know, they just put in a ton of preparation. I had five weeks. That wasn't a lot of time. And um, <clears throat> that's, that's how it all began. Mm -hmm.